Hi everyone, I thought I would do a show you video how I curl my hair. I do very like beachy, messy curl, nothing too structured. I do do the curls all in the same way, but I'm just about to curl my hair, so I thought I might as well film it. So here it is. I'm just sitting out here with my dog, as you can see. Uh, I'm just waiting for my hair to finish air drying, so this is it drying naturally. And then I tend to go over it and brush it again, and then I will start curling it. So, if you want to see how I get my curls, just keep watching. Hey, so I'm literally sitting on the floor because I have nothing else and there's a mirror right in front of me. Anyways, so I split my hair into two sections. Just split it in half. Um, I don't part my hair, this is how my hair falls naturally. It's a little bit off center, but I kind of like that because that kind of adds to the whole uh, beachy, messy vibe. I then start in the back and I just take a small piece of hair. I take my curling iron. I use the T3. I take that and I put it behind my head and I wrap it around like this and leave the ends out a little bit. And then depending how thick your hair is, hold it for that long. And then, oh, sorry, let it fall. And then I kind of let it sit in the back until the end. Sorry, this is so uncomfortable. And I just kind of continue doing that. The smaller pieces you take, the curlier the hair is gonna be. Um, so in the back, I tend to take smaller pieces. I don't start immediately at the top. You can see I'm not at the root of the hair um, because it kind of just makes everything else poofy. And then when it falls, I just swing it around the back <clears throat> and that's basically it I put all the hair in the right in the same direction like back so when I do the left side of my head right for you guys I put it all behind and just leave the end out as you can see the tip it is steaming a bit because my hair is not fully dry so I don't advise doing this until your hair is. I did spray some Gizu uh, heat protectant spray on my hair before when it was still damp, so I don't know if that does anything, but here we are. As you can see, I have some curly bits already um, because that's how my natural hair is. Uh, it doesn't really matter how big the piece you take, it's all kind of preference and the cur hair curls better, obviously, the smaller the pieces, but it is very tedious. So I kind of just go like this, around the whole head. Um, and yeah. I will show you guys when I do the other side of my head. I just wanted to show you that this is half my hair done. It does look very structured and everything right now, but I do like play with it a lot after and kind of, I like to let the curls settle. So I just kind of tuck it away while I do the other side, let the curls sit and then I will like break them up. I also go on the top of my head and, you know, get away the flyaways, but I don't know if you can still see here somewhere. I burnt my head with this curling iron a few weeks ago, a month, a few months ago almost. Um, and because I've been in the sun since, and it blistered really badly, it's, I think, now a scar I will have for a little while. Anyways, moving on. With this side, again, I always start in the back. I then take the curling iron again, and I wrap it behind. These are just the back bits that I wrap this far behind, obviously. But I just wrap everything back. Again, this is all I do. I just... Grab a piece of hair, grab the curling iron, and put it behind, and just wrap. I'm gonna do it, and then I'll show you what I do in front. 
Okay, so as you can see, I've now curled most of my hair. I was just gonna show you how I did these front pieces that frame the face. You can either curl them more or less or however you want. I kind of curl them, I think kind of the same or maybe even a little bit more, but I start it lower, you know? I start it quite towards the tip, to the ends, towards the ends. Um, and I kind of just let that fall and I would just create a little bit of a wave. Sorry. I'm gonna miss. I kind of shake my hair out. And this is what it looks like from the back. Um, and I kind of just play with it a little bit. I also, so I sprayed some Gizu before I did all that. I put it in this little thingy because I was traveling with hand luggage. Right, oh, and when I finish, I spray the Oribe, Oribe, uh, Apre Beach Wave and Shine Spray. Again, small packaging because traveling. I'll just put this down and show you. I spray my hair. You can see me in the mirror. zhuzh around and then I just play with my parting and that is how I get my curly hair very quick very curly very messy but it's the look I kind of it's my go-to here let me show you one more time it's a bit overexposed because I'm now outside of the house um, When you curl it, parse it a certain way, usually towards the middle, and then that allows you to play around. I tend to have a habit when I'm nervous. I, I don't like play with my hair down here, but I, I tend to do this constantly, hence why I get super greasy hair. So this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know if you want to see anything else.